While this Umbrera EMB202A was watering the field, its wings fell off mid-flight, but luckily the pilot was okay. This jet can be seen slowing down as it was trying to land on the runway with its nose pointed straight up. While this DC-3 Trans Northern plane was landing at Anchorage, it experienced landing gear failure and landed without it. The fighter pilot of the Thunderbird 12 decided to film the view from inside his cockpit while performing the reflection pass manoeuvre. Because of the heavy turbulence, the passengers on this Air Asia flight were frightened to death. Even though the Airbus A380 is one of the biggest planes made by man, it was still not strong enough to push against Mother Nature. This United Airlines Boeing 767 started rolling all on its own at SCL, but luckily the plane didn't strike anything. One of the passengers on board the Airbus A310 managed to film the plane performing a zero-g manoeuvre. The car crashed into a small plane taking off from a dirt runway, and luckily they were all fine. During the welcoming ceremony of this F-35, the firefighters forgot to turn off the foam in the water pump and they feared the plane would be damaged. This is a Boeing 747 that smashed that like button, just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the 747 outperformed the small Gulfstream 4. The Ryanair Boeing 737 got seriously damaged after taxiing with its tow bar still attached. Russian test pilot Anatoly Kuvcha managed to perform one of the lowest passes inside a Sukhoi Su-30. While trying to tow this Airbus A380, operated by Lufthansa, they destroyed the landing gear and later had to replace it. These two planes decided to fly low over the airport while flying close to each other. While driving on a country road in Wales, UK, this driver managed to capture two F-15 fighter jets performing a low pass. The fighter jet in this video is seen creating a vapour cone around its fuselage. The unmanned F-35B performed stunningly in the ski jump test.
Despite the wings being covered in wet snow and the absence of de-icing procedures, this pilot still took off. This fighter jet activated its afterburners in mid-air. This small Q400 prop plane had a difficult time landing because of the crosswinds. Several Canada Air amphibious planes took turns dropping water on a forest fire in order to extinguish it. During the Le Burgo Air Show in Paris in 2017, this giant Airbus A380 managed to perform an unbelievable near-vertical takeoff. During a parallel low pass, the pilot of this plane decided to film everything from his cockpit. This Dubai Jetman managed to fly right next to the giant Airbus A380 operated by Emirates Airlines. During Operation Christmas Drop, the US drops packages on 55 islands in the southeastern Pacific. The four fighter jets in this video were flying in super close formation. A bird can be seen calmly exiting the aircraft after landing. This Azores Airline Airbus A321 smashed that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the plane suffered from a hard landing at LPPD. The helicopter in this video landed on a busy beach where thousands of people were swimming and tanning. The helicopter in this video can be seen taking water from a local swimming pool. These two small prop planes nearly collided at Polvulo Airport in Italy. Despite the low visibility on the runway, this Cat 3B pilot managed to land without any problems. The maintenance crew had to rush and help the MH-53E helicopter deploy its nose landing gear, which got stuck mid-flight. This Red Bull daredevil strapped on a wingsuit and descended down the Eager Mountain in Switzerland. Because the plane's engines are not powerful enough to take off on their own in Antarctica, they use rocket-assisted takeoff. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching us. Please press the subscribe button before the video comes to a complete stop.
Bye for now.